All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. We're back down south. Got a big old competition coming up on Saturday, and we got the shotgun running right. But guess what happened? I was releasing the slide on my Legion X5 and my Delta Point Pro, the little battery door flap holder thingy, my jig bob flip flew off of there, and I am without a red dot. But luckily, uh, just behind me on one of my shelves, I had a Sig Romeo 1 Pro. And this will actually fit on the Legion X5. And the window is not that small. So we're going to be doing a little review on that and talking about that here in a few minutes. But before we do that, I wanted to uh, give a real shout out to Callaway Ballistics. Uh, free shipping for orders over $200 uh, using the discount code kb 32 tac Look on my website for the uh, the link on over there. And I want to give a big shout out also to the guys over at Armycraft. We're partnering together to uh, turn the Legion X5 into a really cool open gun. So anyway, with that being said, last night, man, everybody and their mother, big old shout out to uh, Guns and Gadgets, John Crump, Curtis over there at VSO channel, the three of the channels that I watch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It appears that uh, the ATF had their little hand slap. Now, let's talk about this real quickly. What, what they're talking about is a rare breed trigger system. Okay, so it's a force reset trigger to FRT, and I have a lot of experience with this thing. Uh, but unfortunately for me, I saw the writing on the wall and decided before they made them or announced that these things are illegal, I went ahead and went to a gun show and sold every single one of them and recouped my money because here's what's happening. The government will go ahead and they will come in and say, give me your stuff and you're out 380 something dollars or whatever it cost, right? So there. All right, so with that being <laughs> that, uh, it was really cool. The National Association for Gun Rights, Inc. Uh, filed lawsuit against uh, Merrick Garland, who, by the way, let's talk about Merrick Garland for a little bit. The DOJ, the Department of Justice. He's the uh, Attorney General, right? Uh, he operates under the guise uh, working for Joe Biden, who, by the way, I believe told him to do anything and everything that he could to undermine the firearms industry everything he could so he initiated this whole thing with the atf to go ahead and start smacking down on ffls for one little little mistake you lose your license i mean just absolutely ridiculous items and as a matter of fact when i saw this come out i thought that was going to be about the ffls and what they're having to go through with the atf but no this goes back to the deal with the force reset triggers and the fact that the atf went door to door to all the retailers and said i want you not only do i want you to hand over what F force research reset triggers that you have but we want you to give us your customer list yeah so that they can go door to door collecting and seizing your so-called firearms because what happened was the atf just out of the blue decided hey listen uh the force reset trigger we have designated that to actually be a machine gun when in fact and i've talked to john crump and a couple other people about the operation the method of operation is your finger actually has to come forward and pull back again a machine gun by definition is something that you have to pull back and you, with one trigger without having to go back and forth one trigger pull and it goes you know what i'm talking about you've seen the movies and most of you guys have been in the military shit back in my day we even had three round bursts okay so uh with that being said uh the guys that own uh rare breed trigger system they uh joined well they combined efforts with the guys over there at national association for gun rights and they sued merrick garland the guy who is trying to put an end to firearms as we know them right and in, i believe this was in the northern district of texas <laughs> solid the great state of texas and they put a temporary restraining order, TRO. So uh, basically what they did was they smacked the ATF around for a little bit. Now, is this permanent? No, it is not permanent. This is only till the 27th of September. But basically, what does that mean? Yeah, you can go out there and, uh, well, no. If you're a member of the National Association of Gun Rights, then you're covered. If not, well, you know, you should have probably taken your stuff to a gun sh show somewhere and sold them and recouped your money, cash, and not, you know, done anything with names or anything else or documentation. It really doesn't matter because you shouldn't. Back then, it was just a trigger system, right? So with that, what what they did was they took a perfectly decent little trigger system and called it a machine gun. The ATF cannot randomly 
make decisions and designate something as a machine gun without something happening in the name of Congress. And by the guys and the pure definition of what a machine gun is, the rare breed trigger does not meet that definition. And that's where the court said, what do you want us to do, right? So anyway, the ATF, they get a smackdown. They get a little bit of taste of what should it, what the way it should be, right? So with that being said, guys, uh, thanks, Curtis, VSO channel. Thanks, John. Th thanks, Jeremy. Uh, and a couple other folks. With that, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I'm going to go out here to the shack so we can go ahead and do some firearm review stuff so we can uh, not worry about YouTube anymore. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha.